What's good, my powerful people? Back at y'all with another video. Every man needs to watch this video. I say that at, at like almost the beginning of every video. But look, bro. This is the ultimate self-improvement guide. You know what I'm saying? The ultimate self-improvement guide. If you stuck, if you lost, if you don't know where to start, I'm going to put you on game right now. This ain't got nothing to do with women at all. So if you're looking for some women, go to another video. But this ain't got nothing to do with women. This is strictly for you. You watching this. You that's out of shape. You know what I'm saying? You that can't get no women. You that's blue pill. You that's a simp. This is for you. Ultimate guide. Y'all know what time it is. When I pull the no cards out, just know that I mean business. Boost confidence. Rewards your effort, not your results. Don't reward yourself for your results, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't reward yourself for the results. Reward yourself for the work you put in. Reward yourself for being consistent. You know what I'm saying? You've been putting in all this work. You've been grinding. You've been digging. You know what I'm saying? For like six months plus, a year plus. You know what I'm saying? Constant digging. You ain't been wasting no time. You ain't been wasting no money. You know what I'm saying? You ain't been BSing around. You've been straight on your grind. Straight monk mode. Reward yourself for putting in that effort, bro. Reward yourself for grinding. Reward yourself for being consistent. You know what I'm saying? Reward yourself for staying dedicated to the goal. Simple as that, bro. Reward your effort, the effort you put in. Reward the work you put in, not the results that you got to show. Don't reward yourself for that. You know what I'm saying? Reward yourself for that work that you putting in. You know what I'm saying? Have your own style. Bro, stop trying to be like the next person. Stop trying to dress like these celebrities that you see. You know what I'm saying? Stop Bro, be you. You know what I'm saying? Be you. Wear clothes that fit you. You know what I'm saying? Get a haircut that fits you. You know what I'm saying? Stop trying to be like the next person. Get you some cologne that smells good, that's unique to you, that you like. You know what I'm saying? Wear stuff to get, just find your own style, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't, you ain't gotta be trying to stop trying to be like the next person, bro. You are literally, there's nobody else on it. But look at it like this, man. If you lack confidence, this is what I'm finna tell you. There is nobody on the planet that is like you. So why on earth would you wanna be like somebody else? Let that sink in. There's nobody else in the world that's just like you. So why would you not reward yourself for that? Why would you not, you know what I'm saying, stay within that? Why would you go outside of that and try and be like the next person? There's nobody like you, bro. Find your own style, bro. You know what I'm saying? You should be the trendsetter. Stop not following the trend. You are the trendsetter. You know what I'm saying? There's nobody like you, bro. You are unstoppable. Simple as that. Be the best you, you know what I'm saying? Be the best you on all aspects, you know what I'm saying? If you follow this guy right here, you're gonna, you following the steps to become the best you, simple. And then last thing I got for this first one is just stay in shape, bro, bro. Stop, don't be late, stop being lazy. Stop being lazy and start working out, start getting in shape, bro. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter if you skinny, it don't matter if you fat, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter if you already in shape, it's, all, it's always room for improvement. Like I'm in shape, but that, ain't, that don't mean I'm where I wanna be. You know what I'm saying? So if you skinny, bro, you need to you need to start putting some muscle on. If you big, of overweight, you need to start dropping some pounds and put, you know what I'm saying, toning up, turning that fat into muscle. Simple. You know what I'm saying? Upgrade your mouthpiece. Look her right in the eyes and tell her exactly what it is. When you get out of your get out of your mental. When you interacting with a woman, be in the moment. Just in life in general, be in the moment. The moment you start overthinking and thinking about everything that's going to go wrong, everything going to flop. You're not going to get up. She's going to reject you. She might not even want to link with you again. Everything going to go wrong. Everything you're thinking about that's going to go wrong is going to happen. Because why are you thinking about that? You're linking with the woman because you want to get right. You're linking with the woman because you like the woman. You know what I'm saying? You want to take her back to your crib or take her somewhere. You know what I'm saying? You want to take her on this nice date. You want the date to go as planned. And you want to get inside them goods. So why aren't you thinking about that? Why are you thinking about what if she don't like me? What are you? Why are you thinking about what if I bust quick? Why would you think about that? Is that what you want to happen? Because what you think about and once you emotionalize it, just know it's going to manifest. So when you get to thinking about what if I bust quick and now you're stressing and, and getting anxious, you ain't even going to get up. And if you do get up, you're going to bust quick. Simple. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, come on now. Look her in the eyes and tell her exactly what it is. Simple as that. You got to boost your confidence up. Get, put yourself in the field. Put yourself in uncomfortable situations. Get out of your comfort zone. It's as simple as that. You know what I'm saying? Just take control of your life. This is your life. Nobody's like you. Take control of your life. Stop living for other people. Stop thinking what other people telling you to think. You know what I'm saying? And live for yourself. And then when you're talking to that woman, bro, have a masculine tone. 
stop yelling at the, you know what I'm saying? Stop doing all this jolly Kool-Aid smile stuff, you know what I'm saying? Bro, you a grown man. You're supposed to be seducing this woman. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be talking to her with a smooth, masculine tone. Not this goofy, jolly tone like this yo, like this is a homegirl. You, you know what I'm saying? Some, some ra random female. Man, bro, you trying to you you trying to bag this woman. So you need to be having that masculine tone when you're talking to her. You know what I'm saying? This isn't this ain't even, you know what I'm saying? That's not just for women. Of course, that's gonna get you right with women. But it's just in life, bro. You know what I'm saying? People take you serious when you got that masculine tone. Then you got that eye contact to match it. Oh yeah, they gonna feel that aura. They gonna feel that energy. Guaranteed, it don't matter who it is. You know what I'm saying? Bro, you got a job interview, you talking to the manager, you shaking his hand with a firm grip, you got a masculine tone, you looking him all in his eyes, bro, he's gonna respect that. You know what I'm saying? You you handling business, you on point, you doing what you gotta do. That's what you supposed to be on. Stack your money. Now look at it like this. If you got a job, it don't matter if it pay you every week, every two weeks, every month, I don't care. So each time you get paid, Put 10% in your savings. Simple as that. Put 10% in your savings. Be smart with your spending. If you ain't got it, stop trying to spend. Stop trying to stunt for the media. You know what I'm saying? You got all this designer on and all these outfits on the media, you know what I'm saying? But you really, in reality, you broke. Who are you putting on the show for? You know what I'm saying? Social media is not real. Social media is fake. Simple. Social media is just is a game. Social media is not real life. Stack your money up. Be smart with your spending. If you ain't got it, if you can't buy it twice, don't buy it. You know what I'm saying? Then it's like this. Add revenue outside of your job. Look for so other sources of income outside of your job. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to just be limited to one income, which is just this job. You know what I'm saying? You want to get on your purpose. You want to build an income off of your own unique talent. You know what I'm saying? You want to have income. You want to have revenue coming in from all different type of ways. You want to be making money in your sleep. You know what I'm saying? You want to be you want to get to the point where bro you don't you're not thinking and stressing about money because it's coming in in so many different ways that it's like you always gonna be taken care of then another thing bro be be a giver be in service to other people you know what i'm saying when you give back it's always gonna come back to you tenfold you know what i'm saying so don't be selfish with your money don't feel like you can't share you know what i'm saying give it away and things of that nature bro you can't die with the money so it, in in all reality you need to be blessing other people you know what i'm saying you went out and put in a service you got rewarded for your service now go ahead and bless some people you know what i'm saying i'm not saying give your money away throw all your money away but bro bless others and bless is gonna come to you it's as simple as that now i'm saying be genuine with it don't just always be giving away because you in the back of your mind you expected something back bro no no stack your money up be smart with your spending and bless others with your money simple don't overreact accept rejection and move on if she rejects you, do not get mad, do not raise your voice, do not ask her why. Accept it, just say, okay, cool, move on. She don't want to link again, move on. She flaked on you, accept it for what it is, move on. On to the next, you know what I'm saying? Stop overreacting. She cheated on you, move on. Stop overreacting. Don't yell, don't punch, don't cuss, don't, don't ask why, don't do none of that. Just stop overreacting, move on. Simple as that. Take it on the chin, move on. Keep it simple, bro. Just keep it simple. When you're interacting with a woman, you want to get straight. And you shooting your shot in person, smooth, straight, straight to the point. You don't want to talk this woman head off. This is not time for that. This is not y'all first date, so y'all don't need to be engaging in this long conversation. You want to be, you want to just give her your number and get out the way. Tell her why you walked up to her. Tell her what it is. Give her your number and you're gone, bro. You know what I'm saying? Don't talk the woman head off when you just shooting your shot, bro. Tell her what it is. Give her your number. You're out the way. Simple. Focus on what you can control. Now, this right here is very important because y'all be stressing and overthinking because y'all thinking about stuff that ain't gonna happen. Y'all thinking about something that you can't control. You're thinking about the past or you're thinking about the future. Two things that you cannot control. You can't change the past. You know what I'm saying? But you can create the future, but you think about the future in a negative connotation. You create fake scenarios in your head and then you emotionalize it so it manifests. Like I just said, you think about busting quick or not getting up and then you start getting stressed and you start getting anxious, then you bust quick or you don't get up. Simple. Focus on what you can control. If you can't control it, why is it stressing you out? You can't control no woman. So why would you let her stress you out? You can't control who she talk to. You can't control what she wear. You can't control what she posts. Simple. You can't make a, there's nothing you can do that can make a woman not cheat on you. If she cheat on you, that's what she wanted to do. Focus on what you can control. What can you control? Your response to her cheating on you. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna take it on the chin or are you gonna crash out? Simple as that, bro. Focus on what you can control. What can you control? You can control your money. You can control what you think about. You can control what you listen to on a day-to-day -day basis. You can control where you put your time, where you spend your time, energy, resources, etc. You know what I'm saying? You can be in control of these types of things. You can't be in control of the next person's thoughts or actions. 
You're not a robot, you know what I'm saying? You're not a superhero. You can only be in control of yourself internally and externally. So control that. Control your thoughts, control your emotions. You're going to control your actions. Simple. Stop caring and stop being insecure. As a grown man, you should not be caring what nobody else think about you. You are a grown man. You are your own person. You do what you do because you're a man and you stand on it. Simple as that. If somebody disagree with you, who cares? Forget them. If somebody don't understand, you ain't got to explain yourself. You stand on what you stand on. No questions asked. You know what I'm saying? No explanation needed. Another thing, stop being insecure. If you're a grown man, stop being insecure. If you're insecure, now this we're going to talk about insecure within yourself and then insecure when it comes to women. If you're insecure within yourself, some of you need to change. Boost your confidence. You need to be watching this video. If you're insecure within yourself, you need to be watching this video. Why are you insecure? Because you look in the mirror and you're not pleased with what you see. Why? Because your belly probably hanging over the mirror. You know what I'm saying? Below the mirror. You can't even see your full player bill. You know what I'm saying? Bro, you wider than the space of the mirror. You know what I'm saying? Or you skinny. You get what I'm saying? Wind blowing, you getting, you getting knocked all over the place. That's why. Another reason why you might be insecure because you beat your meat all day so you can desensitize yourself. You know what I'm saying? So your mental is all over the place. All you think about is women, porn, booty, and coochie. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Come on. Come on. You got to get right. You know what I'm saying? Start. That's why I say you need to be working out. That's why I say you need to be in shape. That's why I say you need to have your head on right. You know what I'm saying? If you know who you are and you're secure within yourself, there's no way you would be insecure. Bro, I'm not insecure because I know who I am and I'm secure within myself. I love myself unapologetically. If you don't like me, I could care less. That's on you. That's the type of mindset you got to have. When you understand that what people say about you, it ain't got nothing to do with you. You won't let it affect you. Why would somebody else's opinion affect you? Like, you can control it. You can't control nobody else's opinion about you, so don't let it affect you emotionally. Simple. Stop being so insecure. Now, when it comes to this woman, stop being insecure. You insecure with this woman because you a simp. You insecure with this woman because you clingy. You insecure with this woman because you ain't got no other per. You ain't got no purpose. You insecure with this woman because you pedestalize her. You get what I'm saying? You you know what I'm saying? You're trying to control what she can wear. You focusing on things that you can't control. You trying to control what she what she can wear, who she can talk to. You know what I'm saying? All this. You trying to you controlling. When you insecure and you a simp, you're controlling. You know what I'm saying? You start acting like, the, you know what I'm saying? You start acting like the woman dad. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like, bro, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. Focus on what you can control. Stop being so insecure. She gonna be who she gonna be. You know who you dealing with. You get what I'm saying? You supposed to be secure within yourself, focused on you. You know what I'm saying? You tripping and stressing about what she doing? You putting your energy and time, you know what I'm saying? Into the wrong stuff. At the end of the day, get secure within yourself on a mental level first. And then, you know what I'm saying? Then emotionally, then physically, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to get right mentally first before you do anything else. So stop being insecure and stop caring what other people think. Just stop caring, bro. Why you care so much? Ask yourself that. What you, why you care so much? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, do what you want to do in this life. Do what makes you happy and don't be, and be unapologetic about it. It's as simple as that. Somebody talking down on you, they got work to do. You doing something right or somebody talking down on you, they trying to bring you down to their level. Because obviously, if they talking down on you, they look up to you. Let me say that again. If they talking down on you, they look up to you. So why would you let somebody that's looking up to you affect how you feel? Let it sink in. Let it sink in. I'm flowing right now. We only have, we halfway done. Come on, tap in. Feed her scraps. Now we tapping in with some of the women. You know what I'm saying? Feed her scraps. Low validation. The first thing you do when you wake up should not be text this woman, blow this woman phone up, shower with compliments and attention. You're going to run her off. That's what simps do. You are not a simp, right? You know what I'm saying? We killing that simp. We destroying that simp. You know what I'm saying? We eliminating that simp from our mental state all together. So low validation. What you want you want to do is make her feel good in the moment. You want to be compliment. You want to do things with intention. You know what I'm saying? You want to take her out on a date with an intention behind it. You know what I'm saying? You want to compliment her with an intention behind it because you want her to feel good in that given moment. You want to get her dripping water in that given moment. You don't want to overdo it. You know what I'm saying? Then you be doing too much. You compliment way too much. You validate way too much. You giving away too much of your attention. Then it's like, do you even have a life? That's what she think about. You all up under your woman 24-7. She thinking, do you have a life? Not, oh my gosh, I love him so much. He's always up under me. You clown. She don't think that. She think about, does this man any have anything else to do with his life? Other than worry about me? That's what she thinking. You know what I'm saying? So, like, bro, get your life together. Simple as, bro, get your life together. Feed her scraps, bro. Little to none. You want to make her feel good in the moment. Feel good in the moment. 
Then another, you, all, you hear me say it time and time again, you gotta be unpredictable. She should not know your next move. She should not know your next move. She should not know what you're thinking about. You know what I'm saying? She should not have you figured out. If she do, you're done. Be unpredictable, be mysterious. Do stuff out of nowhere. Just leave her on red out of nowhere. You want her to feel a certain way in that given moment. You might be, bro, you might be trying to build, it's an emotional roller coaster. You might be trying to build something up for so later on at night, later on that night. It's way more passionate, you know what I'm saying? You might just be trying to build something up. She might be trying to build something up, so you feed into it a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Just to just to feed into, play into her emotions a little bit. You gotta know, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all do the same thing every single day and wonder why y'all woman don't like y'all. Wonder why she talking to other people. You boring. You know what I'm saying? You always point fingers and stuff like it's not you. Like it's not you, bro. It's you. You gotta look in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? Feed her scraps, bro. You wanna make her feel good in the moment. Stop showering her with compliments and attention. Stop sending them, I know you sleep, but paragraphs, bro. Stop venting to your woman. Simple. Simple. Don't prioritize her. You come first. This is your life. Don't no woman come before your money. Don't no woman come before your peace, your happiness, your grind, your purpose. It's your life. So stop putting her way up here. Put your money, your time, your peace, your attention, your purpose. Put that up there. Then she come after that. And no, it's not disrespectful. She's going to respect it because you should have a life outside of the woman. Simple. Make her chase you. When you all up under her, how can she chase you? When you taste her all day, blow a phone up all day, how can she chase you? When you chase a woman, you running her away. So when you doing all this unnecessary extra stuff, you running her away. She should be thinking about you. She can't think about you if you right there, sniffing all, you know what I'm saying? You so close, you just all like, bro, you know what I'm saying? You blowing off, you texting back every two seconds. You know what I'm saying? You triple, quadruple texting. How can she chase you? How can she be thinking about you? You supposed to be gone. You, you, you supposed to be somewhere on your grind and you ain't even got time to talk to her. So now she's thinking about you. Now she double texting you. Now she calling you more. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want your woman to be doing to you. But she can't do it to you if you steady doing it to her. You got to get up out of bed and go create something for your life. Go make some money, bro. You know what I'm saying? You sitting in the bed with a woman eating all, you know what I'm saying? Eating, on, eating, on all of, eating up all the food, eating on the coochie all day. Bro, get up, man. Get up. Go get you some money. You know what I'm saying? Put your life, prioritize yourself first. You know what I'm saying? Where your money is. You know what I'm saying? What is your mental like, bro? Are you at peace? Are you happy within yourself? If this woman was removed from the earth, would you still be happy? No, and that's a problem. So you need to fix it. Look in the mirror and stop pointing fingers. Simple. Law of attraction. Listen to this one. Visualize success. Stop thinking about everything that's gonna stop you from getting what you want. Stop thinking about why you can't get what you want. Think about what you want and think about how you can get it. And then make plans and then execute the plans. Put the plans into action. You can't be thinking all day about what you want and you ain't execute nothing physically. Oh, I want a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I want this nice house. Oh, I want that car so bad. Oh, I want that scat pay. Oh, I want that challenger. Oh, I want that hell kid. That wide body hell kid with that red interior. Oh, I want that. You know what I'm saying? You thinking about it all day. You ain't doing nothing to go make some money so you can create it. But it's like when you got some downtime, it's like, man, bro, I'm going to have a hell kid one day. You going to see me riding in it. How how you going to get it, bro? How? You don't go to work. How you gonna get it? You asking your girl to cash up you for a tray five. You asking her to pay for your haircut, but you think you finna get a hell cat. You are what you think about. Simple as that, you are what you think about. Just like when you think about busting so quick and then you get inside and you bust in three strokes, that's cause you thinking about the wrong stuff. You are what you think about. That's why you have to pay attention to what you're consuming on a day-to-day -day basis. What do you, bro, you on your phone scrolling 24 seven, you on TikTok all day, and you understand even if you don't like it, booty is gonna pop up on your For You page. You getting on Twitter, booty is all on Twitter. Bro, it's real life porn on Twitter, you know what I'm saying? On every social media app you go on, your, your focal point is looking at some women or shooting at some women, you know what I'm saying? That's your focal point. And it's just like, bruh, bruh, you gotta be thinking about creating a life that you desire, bro. You know what I'm saying? How can you get, how do you think you gonna attract women, get women when you don't even have a life? You're not even on your purpose. You're not even on your grind. You don't even have a job, but you worried about a woman. Get your life together, bro.
You know what I'm saying? Really tap in with yourself, bro. This is the ultimate self-improvement guide, bro. Step by step, I'm telling you exactly what you need to be doing. This stuff that I got on this note card, bro, I made this last year. You know what I'm saying? This is how old, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, we revisit stuff over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you got to reflect back on your life. I've been had this in my notes. You know what I'm saying? Bro, law of attraction, create your own reality. How? Think about what you want and think about how you can get it. Stop feeding into these negative thoughts, bro. Think about what you want and how, what you're going to do to get it. You know what I'm saying? Stop thinking about what if she do this or what if she text him or what if she don't like me. Why are you thinking like that? Like what? You got to think. When you're thinking negatively, bro, ask yourself, what is this doing for me? Thinking negatively is literally killing you. Are you trying to kill yourself? No. You know what I'm saying? Do I have to be that harsh for you to understand it? Thinking negatively is going to make you feel bad. Thinking negatively makes you depressed. Thinking negatively stresses you out. Depression and stress can kill you. So why would you feed into these negative thoughts? Really let that sink in. Really let that sink in. You are what you think about all day. What you think about all day? Women, you know what I'm saying? You stressing about this job you don't like? You know what I'm saying? You complaining about what you ain't got? You don't never think about what you really want. You don't never think about how you can get what you want. Because you're stuck in this paradigm. You're stuck thinking about paycheck to paycheck. You're stuck in that mentality. You know what I'm saying? You're stuck talking about celebrities, you know what I'm saying, and what's on the media. You're stuck talking about women. You always want to chase a woman. Never creating anything that you want for yourself. Never worried about your peace. Never tapping in with yourself, you know what I'm saying, to collect your energy, to tap in with your energy on an internal level. You just give your energy away, waste time all day. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Tap in, bro. Get right with your life, bro. You do not want time to continuously pass you by. You'd be 40 years old thinking about everything you could have did. No. You want to be living and reaping the benefits, bro. Come on, man. Tap in. Cleanse your energy at the end of each day. Get into a meditative state. Tap in with yourself. Call your energy back to you. You know what I'm saying? When you're in the shower, let that water hit you. Just be in a calm, relaxed state. Call your energy back to you. You know what I'm saying? You done been dealing with all these people on a day-to-day -day basis. You need your energy back. You done, gave your, you done gave your energy to social media. You done gave your energy to all these women that don't want you. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, you need to call your energy back to you. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? Get into a meditative state. Before, when you wake up or, or when you're going to sleep, you need to be meditating. You need to be tapping in with yourself, man. Stop. When do you have time throughout your day to tap in with yourself? You waste time and energy all day. You never tap in with yourself. You don't know how you really feel. You don't know if you're really happy or not because you don't tap in with yourself. Start tapping in with yourself. What, what do I mean by tapping in with yourself? Sit alone in silence with your thoughts. Think about what it is that you want. Think about your problems, how you can solve them. Now think about the problem, then let another thought come up that's gonna produce another problem. Think about the problems, you know what I'm saying? Think about what you wanna change about your life. Think about how you can change it. Not think about what's gonna stop you from being able to change it. How you can change it, and then change it. Once you think about, once you think about it, it's yours. You just gotta act on it and do it, bro. Come on, man. Dominant mindset. Understand why you do what you do. What is your why? Why do you do what you do? Why do you get up in the morning and then you get out your bed? Why? You know what I'm saying? Why do you do what you do? What is your purpose in life? What are you trying to achieve? You know what I'm saying? What are your goals, bro? You know what I'm saying? Dominant mindset, aka abundance mindset. There's always more to come and it's just continuously coming. If one woman flake on you, it's a billion more. If one woman cheat on you, it's a billion more. If one job fire you, it's a billion more. If you make a hundred dollars, you can make a hundred billion. That's abundance. That's dumb. This is your life. You run the show. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to. You don't. You a man. You don't submit to nobody. You know what I'm saying? You stand up for yourself. You respect yourself. You have morals. You have boundaries, and you respect them. And everybody else must respect them. If not, you don't deal with them. Simple. You are a man. You are. The, you are the dominating factor. Stop running up behind a woman. Stop chasing a woman. You lead her. Her actions are a response to your actions. If you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing within the means of your relationship, within the means of your own personal life, how can you expect your woman to follow your program? You don't have one, clown. You have to get right with your life. You know what I'm saying? You have to tap in with your life. You have to be, you have to have that mindset that is like, bro, nothing can stop me. I'm gonna do what I say I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Stop talking all the time and just execute, bro. It's as simple as that. You run the show. Never settle, bro. Recognize your value. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all just be settling. The girl cheat on you, you stay with her. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, you let people walk all over you. You let people talk down on you. You never stand up for yourself. Bro, you're settling. You know what I'm saying? You got to want more for yourself, bro. You know what I'm saying? You are a grown man. 
This is your life and you only get to experience it one time. So why not make the most out of it, bro? Simple. Stop relapsing. Stop relapsing. Get on semen retention. Cut out the porn. Cut out the beating your meat. Cut out the porn. Cut out the beating your meat. Stop relapsing. Get on semen retention. You should never in your life beat your meat ever again. Get on semen retention, bro. You can if you be if you are able to beat your meat within that any time of the day. If you if you have time to beat your meat, you got too much time on your hands. Occupy your free time in a beneficial manner. You know what I'm saying? You scrolling video to video to video to video to video. You on Twitter, page to page to page to page to page. Wasting time, wasting energy. Occupy your free time. That time you spend scrolling and beating and busting all over the place, you could have been spent with a workout, doing something productive, but you want to waste your time, waste your life force, waste your energy. Why? Because it feels good for how long? For 10 seconds. Then after that 10 seconds go away, what are you thinking about? Man, I'm so disgusted with myself. What did I just watch? What am I doing? Do you want to live like that for the rest of your life? No. So stop relapsing. Take control. Be accountable. Stop pointing fingers. Be accountable. Take control. Take control, man. Master yourself. Ask yourself who you are. You know what I'm saying? Why do you do what you do? Master yourself. Shadow work. Face your demons. Bring things up to the surface. You need to heal. Let that woman from your past go that don't want you. Heal. You know what I'm saying? So you can attract new women that are beneficial to your life. If you don't heal, you're going to attract the same woman just in a different body. Basically, what I'm saying is you're going to repeat that same cycle. The same type of things are going to be repeated. It's just going to be with a different woman, bro. Because you've never healed, so you haven't learned your lesson yet. You need to master yourself. Understand yourself. Think for yourself. Stop having other people think for you. Take the red pill. Stop being a simp. You're not, you cannot master yourself as a simp. You cannot master yourself blue pill. You know what I'm saying? Blue pill, you think for other people. Simp, you just lack all type of understanding. Take control of your life. Master yourself on an internal level. That's why you meditate. Tap in with your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? You can tap in with your emotions. See things that you need to handle. Bring things up to the surface. Really just get right and just tap in. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, listen up, bro. This is this right here, the ultimate self-improvement guy. You follow this guy, apply this guy every single day, bro. You gonna see the I'm I'm not I'm bro. Because some of y'all, y'all gonna watch the video and then never apply it. That is a waste of time, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate you watching the content, dropping a like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be. But it's like, bro, it's more than that, man. You know what I'm saying? I want you to reap the benefits. I want you to be able to live a life according to your means. I want you to be able to have the high quality life that you desire. Attract the woman that you desire. You know what I'm saying? Understand why simping is wrong. I want you to understand universal laws. You know what I'm saying? I want you to understand the spiritual realm of things. You know what I'm saying? I want you to understand how your thoughts create reality. I want you to understand that if you pedestalize that woman, she's going to crush your heart. I want you to understand that self-improvement comes first. When your life is in order, getting getting a woman is like tying your shoe. Simple as that. So if you follow this guy, you're going to be on point for the rest of your life. So start right now. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.